So great and Banjanga, in Dosanga, in Dosanga, she forgot the Zakara, only Gabino, and then I was with us and Zakari now. you want younger just in this is a woman around? In a remote area of southern Malawi, nearly 200 women start to gather under a baobab tree. They have come for contraceptives, which for many can save their life and transform their family's future. 21-year-old Monasha is already a mother of two. She has come here today for family planning services. <laughs> For many women, childbirth can be a matter of life and death. Every two minutes, a woman dies of pregnancy-related complications. 99% of these deaths occur in developing countries. When I was um, 30, 30, 33, 34, I had uh, my fourth-born child, and I suffered postnatal complications uh, called post postpartum hemorrhage and almost lost my life. They have said that if I had bled for another half an hour, I would have died. When I got out of hospital, I made up my mind that I would spend my life trying to assist other women in the same situation. Because for me, I don't think it's right that a woman should die giving birth to another life. It, sh it shouldn't be acceptable. And I, as a woman leader, shouldn't even allow it to happen. Today, more than 200 million girls and women in developing countries who don't want to get pregnant lack information or access to contraceptives. On July the 11th at the London Family Planning Summit, we, ha we have the chance to cut in half the number of women in the poorest parts of the world who want access to contraception but don't have it. Uh, this would effectively save uh, the life of a woman over the next eight years, every 20 minutes throughout the whole of that time. This would be an awesome achievement, and we have it within our power at the London Summit to crowd in the funds and the political support to achieve just that. Increased access to contraceptives has broad benefits from reducing HIV to improving economies. Thanks to family planning, Ruth is able to work in a local primary school and help support her family. Brenda and Atapele are two young mums living in a township in Blantyre. They both had to drop out of school because their family could not afford the fees. Brenda was 14 years old when she had her daughter, Sarah. Young women aged 15 to 19 are twice as likely to die during pregnancy and childbirth than older women. Giving girls and women access to contraceptives and reproductive health education can change and in many cases save their lives.